Hi, this is Robin Heppel from Funeral Futurist Websites, and today I'm bringing you another Funeral Home Website Training Series video, and this one's going to be online image resizing with picnic.com. We've looked at other websites that do this before, but this is a new one that I found, and uh, it looks great. Let's go through the process. So the first thing that you need to do is go to uh, the website, picnic.com uh, forward slash APP, or you can click on uh, uh, Get Started. And then you're gonna upload your photo and browse for it on your computer. Uh, you, first of all, you're gonna resize it. And when you resize it, you wanna make sure that your dimensions are greater than 150 by 200. And then you're gonna crop the photo to the desired 150 by 200 or whatever desired size that you want. Click on the Save and Share tab, and then click on Save Photo, and you're done. Let's see how it works. So here we are at the site, lots of stuff going on here, kind of busy site, but uh, just to count right down to it, you know, you don't need to even register or sign in. You can just do this if you, if you want. Uh, they even have an upgraded version, but, uh, and we're just gonna use the free one here. So we click on Upload a Photo, uh, go to your pit, your pictures or wherever the photo is. We'll save that. It's going to upload it. Then the first thing we need to do is resize it. So if our desired size is 150 by 200, we can first type in 150, and you can see that if we do that, then it's going to be too small because we need this to be at least 200. So we'll put in 200 here, and then that's 160. So that means then we have to crop down the width to 150. So we'll say OK on the resize, and we want to make sure that we keep the proportions. Then we're going to go to crop, and the easiest thing to do is just drag this up to the top and drag this down to the bottom. And you can see that's now 107 by 200, so we have our desired height. We want the desired width. So we'll drag this out to the far side. That's only 134. And we'll bring this up to 150. You can enter the numbers in here, but it found, sometimes I find that the numbers then jump around. So I like to just drag it to 150 by 200. We can move this around if we want. And now we have the desired crop. We're going to then click OK. Now we have that. We go to Save and Share. And we want to make sure we go to the Save Computer, Save to Computer, and maybe we'll just rename this so it doesn't overwrite it. And you can see that it does have the desired dimensions, 150 by 200, JPEG, uh, compression quality 8. This is all good stuff. You can see that's a very small file, so that's great. Click Save Photo, and we'll just save it in here. And that's it. Um, oh, now one thing that I do then is just click on Close Photo. And now you're, start, you're ready to start with the next one. So just as a quick recap, go to the website, upload your photo. First of all, resize the photo to make sure that it's greater than 150 by 200. And then crop the photo to that desired size of 150 by 200. Then click the Save and Share tab. And then to save it to your computer, once, you, once you're there, click on Save Photo, and you're done. For more information about funeral home websites and training videos, visit FuneralFuturistWebsites.com. And if you have a particular question, feel free to email it to me at questions at FuneralFuturist.com. This is Robin Heppel.